The problem is, you have to get fuel out of the vehicle. If you've been working on cars for a while, you probably tried any combination of these. A very stiff hose, a very soft hose, and or maybe a rubber hose. The problem is, these are very difficult to use. The stiff hose makes it pass the filler flap, no problem, but when you hit the first turn, you can't push it past. The soft hose also makes it past the flap, but once you get one or two turns past it, it just starts to bunch up and becomes very difficult to push down into the tank. And that's only the mechanical aspect of it. We haven't talked about safety yet. Pulling a nylon or rubber hose in and out of a filler neck could be kind of dangerous because of static electricity. The solution is the AGA anti-static fuel extraction kit. This is a special designed anti-static fuel hose that is designed to extract fuel through the filler neck on most vehicles. The hose kit comes with hose guide, grounding strap, a number of different fittings so you can adapt it to your existing fuel cart, and spare o-rings for the tips. We recommend having a designated hose for gasoline and diesel to avoid contamination of the two. The gasoline sleeve has a red line on it for gasoline. The diesel hose guide has a yellow stripe on it for diesel. If you choose, you can just purchase this separate and use the same hose for both. Let me show you how it works. You begin with the grounding strap. Attach the grounding strap to the fuel vessel. Attach the center of the grounding strap to the brass portion of the hose and attach the other end to the vapor cap. Insert the hose guide into the filler neck. Now it's time to insert the hose. This hose is very special. This is a proprietary hose that we had manufactured that is conductive. So it leads off any anti-static through the ground clamp that we just installed. The hose is also designed so that it is very flexible in the end and can guide itself around the 90 degree turns in the filler neck. It comes with two different tips. One, the rounder one, which is ideal for sharp turns in filler necks. It can be removed from the hose end and exchanged with the smaller tip that is mounted on the vapor cap. If the caps are tight, they can be loosened with a 5 mm allen in the end and exchanged. The spare tip is stored on here so it will not get lost during use. Let's get started on this. If you have an extreme difficult situation, you can lubricate the first section of the hose with a product like WD-40 or any other petroleum-based product. Just do not use silicone-based products as they could damage the fuel sending units in the car. Simply insert the ball to the hose guide and continue pushing in. You will feel some resistance as the hose makes it through the 90 returns in the filler neck. Once you have inserted the desired amount and you have reached the gasoline, then install the vapor cap over the hose. Connect the vapor hose to your fuel caddy. Supplied in the kit, there is a fitting that can be installed anywhere on the vessel that you like and it simply pushes onto the hose like that. To release, push the blue collar and you can disconnect. Now connect the fuel hose to your fuel caddy and simply start pumping the fuel out. A really quick trick that will make this process a lot easier for you. If you begin pumping a little bit of fuel out of the vessel and into the pump so it's primed and then reverse, it will really cut down the pumping time. These type of pumps, depending on the quality, are okay to use but can be time consuming. We highly recommend using the AGA fuel pump. This is specifically designed for this task of pumping fuel into a vehicle and extracting fuel out of the vehicle. If you use this, it already has a port for the vapor capture. And in this position, you're filling the vehicle 
And in this position, you expose the suction port so you can connect your line directly to the suction point and pull fuel out of the vehicle. But more on that in a separate video. There's many different reasons why you would want to extract fuel out of a vehicle. One of the obvious reasons is that you want to replace the fuel pump and or the fuel sending unit in the vehicle. If the vehicle comes in with a quite full gas tank and you're looking to remove the pump from the tank, as soon as you remove the pump, fuel will flow out and create a big puddle underneath the car, which obviously creates a fire hazard. And also fuel can flow into the vehicle and get into the sound deadening material and create a fuel contamination that can be extremely hard to get rid of and sometimes involves having to replace the sound deadening mat as well. In addition to that, if a technician has to work in a fuel tank that's filled to here and have to submerge the hands down into the fuel, that's not healthy. Plus, you can't really see what it is that you're doing on correctly installing the pump assembly into the basket and so forth. So evacuating the tank first makes it safer and chances of making mistakes is reduced. This AGA anti-static fuel hose kit is another product that's designed to make your life easier and safer. For more information on this and to buy your hose kit, go to agatools.com. As always, thank you very much for watching.